Hello, Cancer. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for this summer 29. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is not a one on one reading. So, this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And anyway, lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal para sa inyong lahat. Cancer. So, tignan natin kung ano yung message ni Cancer for today. We have the four of swords. Ayan. Cancer, pagod na. Ang daming <laughs> stress uh, sa buhay mo ngayon, no? Maaaring super busy ka sa nakaraang uh, Christmas celebrations dito. And, uh, kailangan mong makabawi, no? Sa stress, sa pagod, uh, ng katawan at isipan, damdamin, ganun. Halo-halo ang aking na uh, pipick up dito na ganap sa inyo dito, cancer. Kailangan yung bumawi, kailangan yung mag-rejuvenate mag at mag-recuperate dahil patapos ng taon, papasok na din ang bagong taon dito and mas malaking celebration, mas panibagong challenges na naman ang ang ating haharapin dito, cancer. So, kailangan handa tayo, no? Physically, mentally, and emotionally. Kaya dito, no? Timing, yung uh, energy na to, yung mensahe na ito para sa inyo, Cancer. You need to recuperate so that you will be ready for the next year's challenges na ilang araw na lang, new year na, no? It's time to purge. Kung ano man yung mga nagpapa-stress sa inyong sarili, sa inyong katawan, sa inyong, sa inyong isipan, no? Try to transmute those uh, things into positive ones lang para Alam mo yun, as we welcome the new year, mas mga positive things, experiences, and people, and situations, and events ang maa-attract natin cancer dito. So, uh, linisin na, no? <laughs> I-release not, let go na yan kung ano man yung bumabagabag sa inyong mga damdamin, bumabagabag sa inyong isipan. Let it go and just surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life maging positive lang din tayo so that yun ang mamagnetize natin yun ang i-send out natin sa divine universe just all positivity so that by the uh, coming of the new year no, yun din ang i-match ng divine universe sa atin yun ang ipadala sa atin pabalik no? so pahinga Cancer, ipagpahinga mo ang iyong katawan. Give yourself time to rest, to relax, matulog ng quality sleep. Magpahinga, no? Maglakad-lakad outside. Spend time alone outside, no? If possible, kung meron kang access dyan sa park, sa pag-walking man lang, para makalanghap ka ng press kong hangin makapag declutter ka ng iyong isipan do some kind of active meditation no maglakad-lakad ka magwalking ka uh, spend time with nature napakalaking tulong yan sa atin cancer sa ating overall uh, well-being no kasi para naman ma-absorb natin yung powerful healing energy ng nature spirits malaking tulong yan lalo-lalo na sa ating uh, pag-iisip no so, yun kasi ang iba sa inyo talaga super stressed dito. Hindi lang sa inyong katawan kundi isip at damdamin dito. So, ipagpahinga mo yan. Uh, as the year ends, kailangan malinis ang damdamin natin, malinis ang ating isipan, no? Mag-declutter tayo ng ating kaisipan, ng ating uh, dibdib, no? Para wala tayong uh, bagahe na dala-dala as the... Uh, New Year starts, kumbaga mag-start fresh din tayo habang papasok na din yung bagong taon. So, Cancer, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and Light. Namaste. Hello, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for December 29. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. And maraming salamat po sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And away, lagi po kayong safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking lang dasal para sa inyong lahat is Scorpio.
So, yung message ninyo for today is the High Priestess. Ayan, Scorpio. So, maaaring meron kayong uh, mga nare-receive ngayon na mga intuitive uh, messages, nudges, no? may mga signs and synchronicities kayong nare-receive ngayon and you don't understand what they are for. No? Maaaring may ganon. Maaaring uh, you are in the middle of making a decision ngayon. So, yung advice sa inyo dito ng High Priestess, no? Uh, yung mga guidance na nare-receive ninyo, yung mga messages na yan, signs and synchronicities, synchronicities na yan, you can uh, find the answers kung bakit yan uh, dumadating sa inyo by tuning in to your intuition, by tuning in to your soul, no? to your heart, listen to what it says, listen to your inner guidance para maintindihan mo kung para saan at para at bakit kayo nakaka-receive ng mga signs and synchronicities and uh, intuitive messages and nudges na yan dito. So, uh, in, in speaking of uh, making a decision, para ang naririnig ko dito, no, na para buong ulo ko no, ang nakikita ko is uh, now is not the time to make the decision. Yung parang ganun. Kung ikaw man ay nakaharap sa isang malaking Uh, decision making dito, no? Uh, huwag ka muna mag-decision right away. Not right now. Kailangan mong pag-isipan niya, no? Pag-isipan mong mabuti ang iyong gagawin, ang iyong magiging decision. As I've said earlier, yung advice ni High Priestess sa iyo is tune into your intuition. Tune into your inner uh, voice dito so that you will be guided towards the right decision na hindi mo pagsisisihan. Na yung tama sa, pa, sa tamang direction ang pupuntahan mo dito uh, Scorpio. So yun ang aking uh, ririnig na mensahe for you around this time is Scorpio. Maring meron choices dito na pinagpipili ang ka din, no? Kaya uh, para hindi ka malito or para mag-guide ka ng divine universe towards the right uh, decision dito, tune into your intuition because the messages, the guidance, no? And the enlightenment coming, coming from uh, the divine universe, coming from your spirit team is through your intuition. So, uh, tune in. Yun ang kailangan and uh, trust it and listen to it kung ano man yung naririnig mo or kung ano man yung dumadating sa'yo ng mga mensahe from your spirit team. So, Scorpio, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste. Hello, Pisces. I hope you're doing well. This is your daily message for December 29. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, so this will not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for and leave what doesn't for someone else. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Pisces, sa inyong mga comments. Maraming salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe sa aking channel. Thank you for your support. Kung bago po kayo dito, hello and welcome. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga readings. Thank you. And away lagi po kayo safe at healthy lamang. Yun po ang aking laging dasal. Para sa inyong lahat, Pisces, ang mensahe ninyo for today is the two of swords. So, Pisces, I feel na nag-iisip ka right now. Nag-iisip ka kung ano yung gagawin mong desisyon, kung papaano ka magde-decide, kung how will you come up with a sound and fair uh, decision dito. Yun lang yung pinag-iisipan. Maaring meron ka mga choices dito, no? Pagpipilian, may mga options uh, that are revealing to you uh, dito, no? Kaya maring mini-mine mo ang mood mo ngayon. <laughs> Pinag-iisipan mong mabuti ngayon. So, that is very beautiful, di ba? Na kailangan mo talagang pag-isipan, tignan ang all corners of your situation before you come up to a decision dito. So, chill lang, no? Uh, while you are thinking about things, about your current situation, chill ka lang at the same time. Relax ka lang. Huwag kang magpanik. Huwag kang aligaga, no? Because kailangan mo lang din na mag-tune in ka sa iyong intuition so that you will be guided to the right option, to the right choice, to the right direction. At para alam mo yun, magawa mo ng tama at maganda at hindi mo pagsisisihan ang uh, iyong magiging decision. So, tama yan. Pag-isipan mo kalma ka lang, no? 
At uh, ask yourself, ask your soul, ano ba ang dapat mong gawin dito? Ano yung tamang desisyon na gagawin mo dito? If you may need to, if you need to ask other people for their opinion, yes, you may do that. But still, at the end of the day, ikaw pa rin naman ang magdedesisyon. Ikaw pa rin, galing pa rin sa puso mo, galing pa rin sa sarili mo, yung uh, desisyon talaga. Because I don't think na susundin mo kung anong sasabihin ng ibang tao sa iyo dito. Yes, maybe it may help you, but still, yung, yung sariling desisyon pa rin dito ang iyong papalabasin. So, that is, that is good, no? So Pisces, that's all I have for you for today. I hope nakatulong ang reading nito in some way. Thank you for watching. Love and light. Namaste.